It's the perfect day for adventure. Great things are coming my way, I can just feel it. A dragon? I thought level 1 characters were supposed to start off fighting rats or something easy. Here it comes. The dragon is about to attack. Time to test my skills as a warrior. Ah yes! <laughs> the floor is clear, priestess! Please pardon this friends, we are just passing through. I really should just eat this adventurer now. It would save me a lot of trouble in 30 or so levels. <sighs> but she did make me promise. See you in about 30 levels. <laughs> what was that all about? And do I at least get experience points for sitting through this? Plus 10 bonus experience points. Whoa, thanks! So welcome to, to this playthrough of Dragon Fable. <laughs> you found 20 gold, it is your lucky day! You can use gold to buy weapons and items at shops. Oh my, who put this carpet in the middle of the forest? Oh no, that is not a carpet, Priestress! It is a Gorillaphant! I will protect you, Priestress! So Twilly gets punted back, now we offer to help. Join my party, little fella! Let's save her! Twilly joins your party as a pet. So, welcome to Dragon Fable. As you can see, this is a turn-based game in which where we attack and then the enemy attacks. Uh, we have no skills uh, unlocked yet, so we can only use our main attack button. We can, however, inspect the enemy, but we see that he has no resistances, so we can just attack away. Twilly heals us. Heals again, I would rather that Twilly would have attacked, so that the Gorelephant would have gone down, but anyway... Victory! And we've gained a level! Thank you for saving me, brave warrior. May I, name, may I know the name of my hero? But Priestress, you said his name was Dekia and he is the one who is destined to... Uh, what? Twilly... Alas, we are out of time, good warrior! I must ask an important favor of thee. Could you please let Captain Rolith know that we're taking this shortcut? He's just ahead in Oaklore Keep. I'm certain we will cross paths again. Especially since he is going to take that black dragon box and... <sighs> Twilly. Well, I doubt my day can get any stranger than this. I should go to the keep ahead and deliver the message to Rolith. Quest complete. A hero is bored. Your origins are a mystery, but your legend begins here, in the forest of Oaklore. And now we have gone past the, let's say, tutorial and entered Oaklore Keep. So here's Captain Rolith. Welcome to Oaklore Keep, home to the honorable Knights of the Pectogonal Table. <laughs> So, in this playthrough of Dragon Fable, we'll be focusing on the main storyline. Uh, the game is, as I said in my previous Dragon Fable video, my favorite game of all time. Uh, it is absolutely fantastic because of its plot, its story, its characters, its humor, its music. Uh, the thing that's not uh, especially great about the game, though, is the gameplay itself, uh, which can get a bit tedious when watching too much of it. So. Uh, we won't be focusing on that. A lot of the battles we will be doing will be uh, off screen, and the training that I'll be doing shortly will also happen largely off screen. But the story and the boss battles and such uh, will be on screen, and I will show you those. And in time, I will also explain a bit of the mechanics of the game and how to play. So we are now inside Oaklore Keep, which is home to the Pectogonal Knights of the Pectogonal Table, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And all of the names of the knights are puns. <laughs> Supreme. 
Welcome, brave hero. We are the Knights of the Pectagonal Table, and we welcome you to join us in Tales of Glory and Adventure. Pectogwa? Sir... Circle? <laughs> Circle says... Certainly. <clears throat> Certainly, you must be joking. The, pecto tego the pectagon is one of the most basic shapes. <laughs> Aye, every geometry course teaches it. Square, circle, triangle, pectogram. The pectogram is an essential part of everyday life with nearly unlimited uses. <laughs> Just one look at our table should prove that. The pectogram is a symbol of everything that is good and just. All hail the knights of the pectagonal table. Okay. <laughs> now we can give the priestess's message to Rolith, but then that would trigger a quest. A difficult boss fight to be exact, so I will be doing some leveling up and uh, gaining equipment, but I won't bore you with the tedious details. 20 minutes later. So by doing this side quest uh, over and over again for about half an hour, we've gained some levels, we're now level 7, I've bought this fancy smancy weapon, uh, and uh, we've gained some stat points by leveling up, which we will invest now. And now we're ready to deliver the message to Rolif from the Priestess. Rolif's in the Priestess's message. What? You saw the Priestess on your way here? Why did you not tell me sooner? And she isn't going to stop here at the keep? The force is crawling with bandits that are looking for her. She's in grave danger. You must go and find her. It is hero time. <laughs> Dekia! You must protect the Black Dragon Box at all costs. Leave it to me, Lady Celestia. I don't know who you are or why you want the box, but you'd better. My name is Drakath. I am the leader of the Dark Wolf Bandits and the rightful ruler of this land. That box is the key to my throne, and there's no way that I'm letting a peasant like you keep it from me. Stand down, or, like the trash that you are, you will be blown away by the winds of my great destiny. You talk big, but you don't look so th tough. I was just going to take the box and leave, but you just made it personal, pal. Let's see what you've got. Get him! Alright, so this is our first kind of boss battle. As you can see by leveling up, we have unlocked quite a few skills. Uh, and we are battling three enemies at once. We can inspect the enemies by clicking at this symbol. Yes, a immobility and darkness resistance. Mm -hmm. And he does... 70 to 29 damage per turn. These have no resistances, do a lot less damage and have also a lot less HP. Drakath, as we can see, has 108 HP, while these two bandits only have 6 HP. So they are very easy to take out, which will greatly reduce our damage taken when we do so. We'll first, however, defend. Twilly. Gives a nice uh, push, I guess. And this causes us to barely take any damage for two turns. Because our defense skill works for two turns. Now we can attack, and what we should do is do this multi-attack. So we can hit, hit all enemies at once, and probably both of these bandits with barely any health will go down in one hit. Ah, we missed the last one. And with this, our defense is also gone. But no matter, uh, we'll use this power-up attack to take down the last uh, reinforcement bandit. And now it's become a one-on-one -on -one fight between me and Drakath. Uh, in that case, we will stun him. Which means he can't attack next turn. Oh, never mind. Because he resisted our stun. Since he has a 60% chance of resisting stuns, that means immobility resistance. But no matter, because now we will have defeated him. Impossible! You got lucky this time, warrior! Ooh, box! Luck had nothing to do with it, and the name is Dekia. Remember it! Oh, I will. You can count on that. Lily Celestia, I'm glad I got to you in time. Thank you, I'm grateful for the rescue. Alas, the box was taken by a Sneevel while you were busy smack-talking. What? Why did you say something? 
Well, you were really on a roll. I didn't want to interrupt you. You must recover the black dragon box before it falls into the wrong hands. Travel to the town of Falconreach and meet with Twilly. He has friends who will be able to help you find that Sneevel. Alright, I will travel to Falconreach. But what about you? Well, if you are going after the box with Twilly, then... I'm going to teleport back home and have some tea. Thank you, bye. <laughs> what could be so important about that box? Completed. You saved Lady Celestia and defeated the Dark Wolf leader, Drakath. Alright. To Falcon Reach it is then. Falcon Reach to the right. Alright. Through the dark forest. Where nothing can possibly go wrong. Ha! Another victim falls prey to the Dark Wolf Renegades. Your gold or your HP. Now. Hmm. How about your gold or your HP? Then I won't have to hurt you guys. Our gold? You've got some nerf, hero. You would make a good Grey Wolf Renegade. Too bad we have to waste you. Get him. And we'll take them out in one <laughs> with one attack. Wow! Ambush in the bushes. In the dark and secluded parts of Oaklore Forest, several Dark Wolf bandits try to take your gold. Big mistake. Careful, hero. You wouldn't want to wake this hungry, giant, sleeping, man-eating bear. Whoa, that was a close call. Thanks. Hey, bear, wake up! Lunchtime! <laughs> this should be fun. Why, you little blue rat? Uh-oh. We're fighting one-on-one -on -one now, and he has a lot more HP than the renegade, so we'll use a stun attack. He's, afflict he's afflicted by the stun, which is good. We'll use this double strike. While Twilly attacks and Zorbak keeps a lookout. And since we did the double attack successfully, we can now use our triple attack. And now we'll defeat the bear. Like so. Interesting. I'll have to keep an eye on this one. This wicked, blue, this wicked little blue Moglin just set you up! Zorbeck's prank, it was. Serpent. Hail, I am Serpent, and I was <laughs> sent here to guard the bridge. I'll just keep going to Falcon Reach. Serpent. Serpent. <laughs> I get it, it's very funny. Too bad though, I was hoping for a good boss fight. Whoa, what was that? And now we've got a good boss fight. So let's see. Uh, they are quite powerful, all of them. Though the heads, the little heads, are very low HP. And they have a very bad... Res they have minus 300 energy and fire resistance. They are very weak to it. Which is why I've bought an energy weapon. Uh, these Doom Knight items are in my inventory. Uh, <laughs> because I've bought the Doom Knight uh, starter pack. But I won't be using them at this time. But we'll uh, start by using our defense skill. Yes, really, very good, thank you. Can block the attacks. As you can see, the heads do a bit more the little heads do a bit more damage than the big heads, so we have to get rid of them first. But we'll use our multi-strike attack. <sighs> and we miss one. We miss both of the little heads. Oh, okay. That's just bad luck, man. But as you can see, with our hit on the big head, we do a lot of damage, so I'm not so afraid that we'll not be able to do this. It's going to be a piece of cake, like so. The little head does about three times as much damage. Anyway, they're down now. Only one more to go. Our triple attack is enough to take him down. Victory! Onward to Falcon Reach. We can walk over the head now to reach the city. Here we have a figure right outside the, ci outside the city. Uh, who are you? I am no one. 
However, you, Dekia, are someone whom I find very interesting. And he has doom weapons? It is a shame that you do not possess a doom weapon. A warrior as powerful as yourself deserves an equally powerful weapon. Tell me more. Only a true hero like you yourself should be trusted with a doom weapon. Their greatest powers have yet to be unlocked. And here we can buy doom items and doom weapons, which are the most powerful weapons in the game, which you can also continuously upgrade. But as you can see here, they are very, very, very expensive. And now we've made it to the city of Falconreach. And now we can talk to Twilly. Oh yes, you want to look for the black dragon box? You should ask Robina the Hoot. She knows everything about hunting Sneevels. Oh, uh -huh. all right. <laughs> so go to Robina the Hoot. Of course, a play on words of Robin Hood. This is too easy. My box, my box, my box. Give me my box. Sorry, these boxes are now property of Robina the Hoot and their band of merry women. <laughs> When I get down from here, I'll, I'll bring me some more boxes, right? Hey, all those boxes are mine! Robina the Hood, at your service. Steal from the rich, give to the cute little cuddly friendly forest kiwi creatures. <laughs> okay, the black dragon box. Oh, this black dragon box is yours, you say? No, my precious, my precious, my precious. Sneevels really do like their boxes. Mine, it is mine. I store it fair and square. I will help you. I will make. I will make you a deal. If you help me with my quests here in the forest, I will let you have the box. Agreed. Say no. Say no. Say no. <laughs> yes. All right. So I have to do her quests now. These three. Let's make the forest a better place for everyone. All right. Golden opportunity. Time to steal from Rich, specifically Richard the Vile, one of the bandits who just robbed one of King Eltian's caravans. Alright, so this is the boss fight of the quest from Robina. As you can see, the, mechanic, the mechanics are still quite the same. Just defend. Uh, this time, all of the enemies have the same health, so it doesn't really matter which one we attack first. Hopefully, we can take one of them down before our defense has now worn off. Willy, come on, two damage, you can do it! Yeah, good job! A triple attack is ready, we can take him down hopefully in one turn. No, no, not even Twilly, not even the mighty Twilly will be able to finish him off with that. Now, we can finish him off in one strike. Uh, not him though, but we can use now our multi strike. So he goes down, and that means that we already get a lot of HP down from him. And that was pretty easy, as you can see. Uh, farming uh, at the beginning of the Oaklore Keep uh, quests uh, for 20 minutes really paid off, as you can see, because we are very quite overpowered uh, for, <laughs> for these quests. The second one, give till it hurts. Give until it hurts. You did great taking that chest of gold from the bandits. Now we're going to give it all away. Go knock out some random forest creatures and put that gold on them. What, you didn't think I was serious? Where did you think all those monsters got gold from in the first place? Because <laughs> we always get gold when we defeat a monster. So we, we pickpocket the monster. <laughs> Alright, so this is a, quite a long and tedious quest, which will give us a lot of HP. Uh, we can use this healing pad to heal ourselves in between. But we have to defeat all of these monsters in all of these areas. Um, I won't uh, make you sit through that, so uh, I'll be back in a second. Oh well, in quite a while, I think. <laughs> Eventually. And we did it, given until it hurts. A few bites and scratches later, you have placed all of the stolen gold onto the forest monsters. Now that you've accomplished your backward task, go see Robina for the black dragon box. Alright, deal is the deal, yay. 
Whoa, Dicky, yeah, you did a great job. You even held up your end of our deal so you may have the box. I can have it, just like that? Yep, just like that. What did you expect? I don't know. For something so valuable, I was expecting a tougher fight. I was expecting some balls to pop up and... Not so fast, peasant. Ah, that's more like it. You! Ah, Robina, thank you for keeping the Black Dragon Box safe for me. I see you've met my new friend, that's wonderful. Now I can kill you at the same time. Drakath, didn't you learn anything from last time? Yes, I learned that you are a fool for letting me live. This time I'm prepared for you, both of you. I will have my Black Dragon Box. Alright. Uh, I remember this as being a very difficult fight. Uh, two strong opponents, though this one, crack him, has a, has a, l a little less HP, so we'll start by defeating him, because the sooner we can fight only one enemy, the better. So we'll do the same thing, we start by defending. Nice job, Twilly. 28, we don't even block against him. Can we stun him? Oh, we can stun him. Should we stun him? Yeah, we'll stun him. We can block against Rakath, luckily. Hopefully we can, we can uh, defeat, crack him before he uh, recovers from his stun. We'll finish him off with a multi-attack and then hit Rakath in the process. Nice. We can do this. We'll defend again, just play it smart, play it safe. Nice job, 22 HP. Nice. And we're level 9. I've only been playing for about uh, an hour or so, so that really, really can go fast. No! Impossible! You say that word a lot. Fine, I'll finish you fools later. But the box is mine! No, Dekia, you can't let him open the box. <gasps> empty? But how? Yes, empty! Give me my beautiful empty box! Already dumped out useless thing in box. What? Where did you dump it? Sneevel them side, of course. Of course, to be continued. After opening the box and discovering that it was empty, the Sneevel confessed to dumping the contents of the box at the Sneevel dump site. Maybe Twilly knows where that is. Twilly knows everything, he can do anything. Who knows? The Black Dragon box was empty? Oh, I know. You need to visit the most famous treasure hunter in the land. It's a lovely day out. And here we have Valencia. Why hello there, adventurer. I'm Valencia, world famous rare item hunter. Could I interest you in this rare statue? Only one billion gold. The Sneevel dumped a dragon egg out of the dra black dragon box at the Sneevel dump site. I can show you the way there. I think... Oh no. Yeah, okay, so well, this is our first problem with resistances, because this creature has a resistance of 200 to nature, which means that all damage done by the element nature actually heals him. Uh, so we don't really want Twilly to join us on this quest, uh, so it pains me to say in my heart that we're going to have to uh, leave him at home, uh, I'm afraid. Alright, we're back. We've left Twilly at his uh, tree stump, he's happy there, don't worry. Yeah, and we encounter another problem because this monster has 200 energy resistance, while our weapon is of the energy type, and we don't have another weapon we can use or should use. Well, we'll discuss this later. So we have to use our longsword with the metal, which does a lot less damage. It does no damage! Oh no, but then we can't we can't defeat him then. We have no weapon that can damage him. Okay, uh, I, I am going to use the Necrotic Sword of Doom for this, because otherwise otherwise we can't we can't do deal deal damage to him. This also does barely any damage. I'll go back, uh, buy a different element of weapon and then restart uh, the quest. 
Why are all these weapons metal and energy types and a staff? We're not a mage, come on! Alright, you don't have light resistance, do you? No, okay. The Dragon Egg. Finally, the Dragon Egg is mine. I've gone through a lot for this. Now all I have to do is walk five feet ahead and pick it up and it will be mine. Yep, that's all I have to do. I just need to reach out my hand and take my prize. And I will. I will claim my prize because I have earned it. I will claim it. In just a few seconds. I should know better than <laughs> I should know better than this, but I really want to save that moment of final triumph. After all, this moment only comes around once, and I want to enjoy it. So I'll just stand here for a few seconds and... Are you kidding me? Did that just happen? Great! Drakath, Sneevels, now giant birds? What's next? Hey birds, I bet Valencia knows where you live, and I'm coming for my dragon egg! Let go my egg, crow! <laughs> Actually, it was a Voltragen, and a very large one and scary one at that. There, there is no time to spare. Valencia will know what to do next, right? I was having a bit more trouble with that quest. We're not that overleveled and overpowered anymore. A huge Voltragen stole the egg? I bet it was Ultra Voltragen. He lives at the top of Mount Mordor. <laughs> Mordor? It is a deadly mountain of treasure and the bane of, of door-to-door -door salesmen everywhere. A huge Voltragen lifts the top. Voltragens? They are wretched scavengers that steal and eat each other's eggs. The eggs look very similar to dragon eggs. Alright, to Mount Moordor. And this is why it is called Moordor. Because it has a lot of doors. Aha! There they are! All six of them? Okay, so there are six eggs. So what? I'll take all six and sort them out later. I don't want to hear it! You stole my egg in the first place. The rest of them are probably stolen too. Besides, do you think I'm just going to stand around and talk after that last cutscene? No way, Burbrain. I'm taking all those eggs and I'm getting out of here as fast as I can. I want my egg! Right, boss battle time. We can't stun him either, so we'll do the same tactic by defending. It's quite a lot of HP. But we do a good chunk of damage. We'll be able to do this for sure. He does about the same damage as us, but we're ahead what HP is concerned, so... And we can defend again also. And that's it. At last! I'm not sure which of them is my egg, but I'm going to find out. Until then, I'll have to keep them all safe. All six of them. Uh, all five of the eggs! You got the dragon egg! Unfortunately, you got four other eggs too. Maybe Valencia will be able to tell them apart. Exactly five. All five of these eggs look identical. I'm unable to tell them apart. Hmm, you should take these back to your little red Moglin friend. Good luck. Five eggs? Wowzers! Which one is the real dragon egg? I know, use the portal and ask Warlick the mage to help. Interesting, very interesting. I am Warlick, the blue mage. How can I help you, warrior? A dragon egg, so you have five eggs and can't tell them apart. Interesting. Please, step into the tent and tell me more. Whoa, this is a lot more roomy than it looks from the outside. I wouldn't have expected stone walls inside a tent. 
Oh, we're not in a tent. That is just the portal that leads to here to my mage tower. We pay a little more for the extra dimensions, but we thought that it would be worth the rent. We? Yes, me and my roommate Cicero. He's a decent roommate, mostly because he's gone most of the time. Anyway, it really taught me how these eggs came into your possession. You've had quite an adventure so far. Yeah, that's one way to put it. I've begun doing research on the black and white dragon boxes. The texts are ancient and difficult to translate, but it looks bad. If I'm correct, the text says that this egg will have the great dragon that will destroy all of lore. We may be able to avert this catastrophe, but first we need to reveal which egg is the true dragon egg. I have a good feeling about this one, but we will need a powerful spell to dispel the illusion. Illusion? I don't see any illusion. Of course not, it's an illusion. <laughs> all dragon eggs have a natural magic illusion around them that helps protect them. I have to find a spell powerful enough to counter the dragon magic on the egg. While I do my research, make yourself at home. Feel free to make yourself a snack while you wait. I won't be very long. Watch the egg that will destroy lore carefully. Fix myself a snack. Ten minutes later. <laughs> Decky, I have great news. As it turns out, I believe that you have the egg that will hatch the dragon that will save all of lore from destruction. <laughs> Don't worry, Warlick, I already handled the problem in my own way, and it's delicious. Want some? Uh, no, thank you. You, uh, cooked the egg? Yep. You cooked the dragon egg that would have saved the world. And then I ate parts of it. You said it was going to destroy the world. You said to fix a snack. Quickly, did the egg taste like honey and mackerel? Ew, nasty. No, it tasted like a normal fried egg. Okay, then that wasn't the dragon egg. One sure way to tell if an egg is a dragon egg is the taste test. <sighs> so, did you find a spell that can tell us which is the real egg without tasting it? Unfortunately, no. The magic is very strong. We will have to summon a creature that feeds on dragon eggs to dispel the illusion for us. I will need your help, hero. The ancient tome of summoning lies high in my tower, behind a barrier that I cannot pass. Oh, some sort of magical force field that you can't penetrate? Not exactly. The tome is on Cicero's half of the tower. You see, his insane experiments and dirty laundry were driving me nuts, so we painted a yellow line separating his half from mine. <laughs> Warlick, this is a very mature solution. Think so? Let's see if you feel that way after fighting past this magical accident and this enchanted filthy laundry. Cross the yellow line. A dirty sock monkey. Which we can very well handle. Alright, I'll be battling these laundry uh, people, uh, these laundry accidents for a little bit. A few minutes later. Quest complete! After discovering that you were not walking along a hallway, but in fact walking sideways up the tower and successfully fighting your way past Cicero's accidental creations and enchanted piles of dirty laundry, you have found the spellbook Strings of Flame. We must summon an unspeakably powerful creature to determine which egg is the right one. To summon it, I will require several reagents. The first one is a bag of fire yarn. Venture into the fire cave north of here and see if you can find bag of fire yarn. Okay. I am starting to notice that, well, we could handle that slime, but we're not as overpowered as we were. I think I'll have to find a better weapon soon. But we don't have that much money to spend. And we've arrived at the pouches. We've got the plot spoiler bag. You find a secret note in the bag. It is burned and some letters are hard to read. It says... Eltian is... Robina's... Father. <laughs> there you go, a spoiler bag. Item found. You found the bag of fire yarn. That's what we came here for. But we'll finish the quest and quest anyway. I don't know if we're allowed. We are supposed to do that. Yeah, we'll probably have to finish the quest. But now we're at the boss fight of the stage. Though these have barely any health, so we can take them out quickly. First, we'll defend in case we miss. And then we'll do our multi-strike attack. Nice. 
Then we'll stun them. Yes, it works. We'll power up by uh, also striking. Then it's smooth sailing from there. The triple strike. And that's it. Quest complete. Indestructible litter. Go to the earth cave to the east. It is a dirty job, but you must defeat the stone head boss and take his rubble. Alright, I've not yet found any weapon I am happy with, so we'll save our money for now and hope we're still powerful enough to uh, defeat whatever is coming. Oh my god. Okay, this is a quite a difficult fight. We're not in great shape either. Okay, here is our last turn of blocking. If we can survive this though, we'll be a new level I think, and when we level up we gain we regain all of our HP and MP. So if you win this fight, we're golden for this quest. That's what it's going to be quite difficult to do this. Our mana is almost depleted, so we'll have to use potions, which also consumes a turn of course. You get lucky and he misses at least. Okay, next turn we'll have the middle one down. Oh my god, we're really almost dead. Alright, two to go. Come on. Oh boy. Um, what to do? Okay, we'll defend. Hopefully, they will miss, or you can block. Yes, alright, now we heal, <laughs> very quickly. Hmm, what to do, what is, what's wise. Heal our MP, alright. Now we're going to attack for two turns, and in two turns our uh, block will be back. Oh, we can't survive two turns. No. We have to heal, we have to. Oh no, we're not going to make it. Oh, 44 damage here, come on, man. Defend. We're not going to make it. Ah, that sucks, man. Our first defeat is coming up. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're <laughs> Okay, next turn we will be dead. We can't stun, we can't defend, we can't heal. Alright. Unless we get very lucky and he misses, but then he will get his next turn, yeah. Ah, defeat! Oh no! Fear not, for luck shines upon you, you regain consciousness nearby. We can't uh, beat this quest. <laughs> we'll uh, have to uh, do some leveling and gain some gold and get a better weapon. Well, we are low on money, so what we can do is some bounty hunting. We accept bounty hunting from Robina the Hood and then go to this place. And at the end of the level, we'll fight one of these bosses, and depending on which we fight, we get a certain amount of gold. Also, yeah, we got now a helmet and a cape. Uh, I will admit, we 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 look kind of stupid now, but but <laughs> just bear with it for now, okay? Bounty of 75 gold. This is the boss fight of the stage. Well, it could have been better. <laughs> and that's it. Let's see, we now have 345 gold. Uh, for 500 gold we can buy a decent weapon. So we'll do the bounty quest at least once more. Alright, now we're back doing this quest and we're in the same scenario. Uh, we have got a few more items. Let's see. Uh, we've bought Zoom's Curved Blade. 
uh, we now have the worn skull cap as a hat, uh, I mean helm, and a heavy chain belt. Uh, also, we've invited Twitty because, uh, well, he can help us, I, I guess, a bit. Uh, of course, we could also have invited uh, Robina or Rolith to join us, or we could have used the Doom Knight armor, but those things just feel like cheating, man. We're, we're the hero of the story and we're going to do this with our own strength. Hopefully. <laughs> See, 45 damage in one strike. That's almost twice as much, well, certainly twice as much as we had before. Hopefully we can survive uh, long enough. Please go down with this strike. No, oh come on Twitty. <laughs> 5 damage. Yeah, 11 damage. He does a lot more damage now, I'm not sure why, because we haven't trained our charisma stat at all. But, you know. I'll just. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm, not I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh, we can do this. Thanks for the heal. The thing is, though, even if we've beat them, the, the quest is not over yet. <laughs> ah, one HP left. We're not getting very lucky right now, but we haven't trained our luck stat, so I guess that's to be expected. Right. Thanks for the heal. He heals quite a lot now also. About 30 I think, 30 HP, HP. Even Twitty won't be able to finish him off I think. No. Oh he misses, maybe we do have some luck. Nice, you see progress kind of. Which way do we go? Oh, a healing pad! Uh, now, now we've got this. We have got this quest in the bag! Whoa! 20 damage from Twilly? My god, man! Has he been working out? And the final boss of the stage. We can do this. Easily, I think. And there you have it, we've defeated the Easter Island. Complete! Now we have to get a bag of fish, travel to the southern waterfall and bring back a bag of salmon. There we go. That was sort of weird. I wonder who just left the bag of fish laying here. Right. And the old wind bag. Bag of Whitnip. Hmm, Whitnip. Wind elementals just cannot get enough of the stuff. Search the wind cave to the north. Alright, I think that's the last pouch we'll need to get. And it's just laying here. You found a bag of wind nip, right. It's going to be quite a difficult boss. Uh, I hope that uh, we are able to handle this now. We are ready to summon the monster who can determine the egg. I must warn you again, this is extremely dangerous. And he ain't lying. Well done, hero. We've got the fire yarn, indestructible litter, salmon, and the wind nip. Everything that we will need to pull this monster from its world into our own. We are ready to begin the spell. Remember, this creature is very dangerous and feasts on dragon eggs. It will sniff the eggs. It will, it will begin to dispel the dragon illusion when it finds which egg is the real one. Once it has unveiled the true dragon egg, you will have to step in and banish the beast back to its plane. Otherwise it will devour the egg. Got it, I'm ready. Alright, here we go. Ah, it's so cute! Do not be fooled by the Doom Kitten's appearance, it only assumes this form too. The Doom Kitten? I want to hug it! Just let it pick an egg. There! It's chosen an egg and it's beginning to dispel the illusion! Quickly, banish it! Oh boy! The Doom Kitten. Let's check the resistances. Oh, he is resistant to metal and a lot of other stuff that is not good. 
We have light, energy and metal as elements. Light, metal. Alright, he is not resistant to energy, I think. Though that means we have to use a much weaker weapon now. He's 95 in mobility resistance, so we probably won't be able to stun him. So instead of stunning, we'll use a regular defense skill. Come on, Twilly, we're counting on you. Oh boy. Damage is lower than I would have expected, that's good. He may yet pull this off. That is quite a lot of damage when he does that. He rotates between those two skills, okay. He will reduce his damage by using that skill. Twilly heals us, that's very good. Oh, he does randomly. He chooses its, its attacks randomly, okay, okay. We'll defend again. Let's not rush this now, but we're doing good. Yeah, we have got this. Come on. Luckily, we still had a weapon that could that he isn't resistant to, because otherwise it would have been a very difficult fight. Can we finish him off? I think we can. Come on, Twilly! <laughs> yeah! Nice job. You have saved the dragon egg from being eaten by the Doom Kitten, and now you know which is the real egg. Once it senses that you have found a safe place for it, it will drop its illusion and show you its true form. It is time, it is time, quick! Let's go to the cave where your dragon egg is, uh huh? What took you so long? You almost missed it! Oh, I'm so excited! I've been waiting so long for this day! I don't get to see a dragon hatch every day, especially one so special! <laughs> Twilly, you knew that it was going to hatch today? Sure, Lady Celestia gave me the exact date and time hatching! What? Why does anyone ever tell me anything? I tried everything to get it to hatch! Really? Like what? Well... I tried sitting on it, of course. Board, 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 board... Then I tried singing to it. Rock a baby eggy in the stone claws when the wind blows the ah oh, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I tried checking I tried, uh, tried asking nicely. Please, please, please with sugar and candy and, and whatever dragons eat, puppies or princesses or something on top. I tried to gently tap on the egg. Okay, egg, let's just see which one of us breaks first. I even tried the saucy puppet show to coax it up. Oh, Mr. Puddingshins, you scoundrel! Not even that worked. If I knew it was on a set timer, it would have saved me a lot of time. Dickia, it's moving! Lord Sepulcher, the egg is moving. The hatching time is upon us at last. With the might of this dragon at my command, the world will bow at my feet. The Age of Darkness begins as soon as my dragon takes its first breath. But... But the hatchling will only be a baby, how... The dragon amulet, Dracath. With the power of the dragon amulet, the dragon will assume its fully grown form at my command. My lord, a crack in the shell. The crack in the shell? It won't be long now. I, I don't know what to do. What should I do? Should I boil some water? Why would you boil water? I don't know. I just don't know that people boil water when the baby is about to be born. Just be ready for anything. We still don't know which dragon this will be, the savior of the world or the destroyer. It's time. It's hatching. It's time. Hmm, that's not exactly what I was expecting. Master, what have you done? Is that better, my little Dracolich? I think I'll call you... Fluffy. Here we go!
Ah, it's so cute. It doesn't look so evil, does it, Twilly? Twilly? <laughs> Your baby dragon has hatched. Speak to Lady Celestia and Sunbreeze Grove. She should have some idea of what someone needs to do for a growing baby dragon. Nice. So that concludes the Dragon Egg Saga, more or less. Let me know if you want me to continue this Let's Play of Dragon Fable. Uh, also let me know if you want me to change things up, if you want to see more of the fights, less of the fights, less of the dialogue, more of the dialogue. Well, I've shown all the dialogue, but you know. Um, let me know if you want me to use the uh, Doom Knight armor or not, if you want me to use it on screen or if I can use it only off screen to train. Uh, those kind of things, and uh, yeah, if we're doing a complete let's play of the game, that will take a long, long time. <laughs> but I wouldn't mind at all. I, I enjoyed this game to bits. I love this game to bits, to eight bits. No, no, that's a terrible joke. Also, thank you so much for all your support on my previous Dragon Fable video. It really means a lot. And yeah, be safe. Until the next time. <laughs>